Welcome to Super Movies where we watch this so you don't have to. Jesus, man. <laughs> what if they were asleep? Wake up! And this week we watched The Leprechaun's Game. Happy St. Patrick's Day, fellers! 2020, TVMA, 80 minutes long. Directed by Louisa Warren. And star Daniel Zawicki, Louisa Warren. What was the game that we played when it had a leprechaun? Uh, we got lepre uh, leprechaun on it. What was the game that it wanted? To what? Well, there was a guy trying to look like a leprechaun, and he had a mask on, and he wanted us to play a game. What shitty game was that? So the leprechauns game is about a group of, I believe, British thugs. They steal gold from a grown-up Billy the Puppet from Saw. <laughs> and he wants his gold back. He's the biggest leprechaun I've ever seen. He's like six foot five. Yeah. I, I don't want to sound racist or whatever against leprechauns, but historically speaking, leprechauns are short. That's part of what makes them terrifying because they're right at eye level to your dick. He was so tall that most of the cast was at eye level to his dick. The end. We like gold. Gold is, I wish I had gold. I would like to have gold. What would we have liked to have liked in this movie? What would he have liked to have liked? <laughs> I would have liked to have liked this movie, but I didn't. Let's see, plot, no. Acting, no. Eh, the acting was fine. It, it wasn't bad. It wasn't good. It, it was acting. Special effect, no. Well, no, no. There wasn't any great special effects on it. I really got nothing. I'm sorry. I apologize, but I honestly, I it was shot okay. I have one thing I like, and I want to get this out there so that everybody is aware of this. This is technically my week to pick a movie. However, Rob suggested this movie, and I like that Rob picked this movie, not me. And I like you to all be aware that this was not my fault. I like Sean Phillips, and he had a little cameo Oh, shit, in this. yeah, that's right. He was in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked his cameo. I always liked seeing good old Sean it, Phillips. It was pretty funny. Production value was fine. The outdoor set was okay. Yeah, I like woods. Yeah, we like woods. So what don't we like about this movie? I, I'm not... It, it doesn't even deserve a nice little transition. We don't like this movie. What don't we like about it? I hate, I hate, I hate the acting. It was bad. It was... The characters were terrible. Yeah. The accents... Oh, Okay. I, 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 drink your coffee. I'm gonna have a little rant. Hi, my name's Adam. I'm from America. We know how to pronounce F, F, T H, F. So you know what? Brother, brother, F, F, F. Not V, not brother. Fuck you. I fucking hate that. <laughs> I hate that so fucking much. And it's a very specific part of England that does that, that says v. So it's the other day. No, other. Th, th, th. Fucking figure out how to use your language. It's pathetic that we, as people who have stolen your language, have better diction than you. Are you laughing because I said dick? <laughs> Okay, that's it. I just, I, I, it, it annoyed me start to finish in this movie with that accent. I did not like the leprechaun. No, <clears throat> fuck the leprechaun. Why is he a full size uh, person? Yeah. The mask was awful. It felt like a dude in a mask. Absolutely. Like it didn't feel like a makeup appliance or like they had done any blending. It felt like they just went and grabbed a mask off the rack and slid it down like they went to Spirit Halloween and got a leprechaun mask. Yeah. The plot and the story is cliche and generic and has been done several times before much better. The killer talked too much. This guy just, it's like, just fucking shut up. The pacing was bad. Oh, it was so boring. <laughs> boring. Uh, there was really no blood or gore. The kills were pretty much off screen. They were weak. Now that I'm thinking about it, what set this whole movie up was dumb. It, it's about a, a collector who who specifically collects like mythical things, like a <laughs> unicorn's horn and you know shit like that. I, he had a whole list of things he collected, and he wanted to collect a pot of leprechaun's gold. Right. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. And he hired a team to find it, and like right away they find it. 
This is something that people have been searching for for thousands of years. Right. I don't know how far back the leprechaun mythology goes, so I'm going to say thousands of years. And call up Sean Phillips. If you're over a thousand years old and you remember when this started, call me and let me know. You can email us at stupidmovies at outlook.com. There we go. See you next week. But they just like instantly find it. It's like, that was way too easy. If people have been searching for this forever, if this collector has been looking for this for a long time, and you hired this group of dumbasses off the street and they find it right away, no, no. There needed to be some effort because it was literally just like, oh, there's a rainbow. Okay, let's go into the woods. Oh, here's the end of the rainbow. Look, here's gold. Fuck you. It's never that easy. No. I wish it was. Yeah, me too. The rules of the leprechaun were not very clear. Like, what could he do and what could he not do? The things that they did explain, oh, he was a demon and then he was kicked out and he was forced to do this and blah, blah, that sucked. I don't know how else to say it. It just sucked. At the end of the rainbow, we found a pot, but it was not of gold. It was of shit. If you uh, haven't caught on by now, <laughs> <laughs> I was not a fan of this movie. This was not fun. I did not find any entertainment in this. I was bored out of my skull. Uh, it, was, it wasn't funny. It was, it was just, uh, across the board. There just wasn't anything I could really get behind. I hate saying that. You know, I do. I feel bad That's when I say the truth. that. But it, it, my personal enjoyment level was pretty much at nothing. I mean, I, I couldn't get into it. It was, it was just dumb to me. I didn't enjoy it, and I don't know if you would either. So I'm going to give this a 0.27. Out of eight. Wow. Travel back in time with me to the 90s. There was a great show called Are You Afraid of the Dark? One of the episodes was about an evil leprechaun. That episode had better production quality. It was scarier. It was better acted. It had better special effects than this movie. We're looking at a 30-year time difference. Something that was made for television for children managed to be scarier and more effective than this movie. I hated it. The accents annoyed the dick out of me. The acting was shit. The visuals were crap. Why was the leprechaun six feet tall? Why was any of this? I don't get it. It just sucked. I do nothing but watch bad movies. I enjoy the shit out of it. And this, zero enjoyment. I, I hated it all. And I feel horrible about that because I know people worked really hard on this. This is the worst movie I've seen this year. I'm giving this a zero. Just a flat fucking zero. I want to change my score then. No, you can't. It's too late. You already went on record. Follow us on Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies. Instagram at Stupid Movies at the horror, at the horror punk at Dr. Sketch Turner. <laughs> Email us at stupidmoviesoutlook.com. Before we go, <laughs> bend over, grab your ankles. Get a picture of your pot of gold and send it to Rob. He's starting a collection. <laughs> Brown gold. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> Bonus points if there's a Hemi. I was more a fan of Are You Afraid of the Park? I don't know. It's just because you had that dude who kept following you in the park. Yeah, that's spooky. <laughs> it was him. <laughs> I was like, I've got stupid movies for you, little boy. <laughs> it's because you traveled back in time, yep. and I was scared. I was like, who's this guy? Who's this gray-haired, old, wrinkly man? Yeah.